Howdy y'all. Welcome to the Shikoni Jolie's vlog. I hope you have a good time. Good morning and welcome. Oh geez, I look like a hot mess. And welcome to the ninth day of the second month. Come on. Of the best day of your life. Sina's coming with me to collect Amelia, but she's so confused. Come on, Sina. Let's go. Come on. Sina. Oh, I'm gonna have to pick her up. Oh, it's raining too. Why did I do this? I shouldn't have done this to myself. Seriously. I'm gonna be late now because of this stupid dog. Oh, bloody hell. We're back. And look who's here. Cinderella. Oh, Princess Cinderella. <laughs> That's not Eduardo. That's Sina! Water. Did you have fun at school today? I covered Sina. Yeah? I covered Sina. Oh, poor Sina. She was so happy to collect you. Well, actually, at first she was confused because she doesn't really like being away from her puppies and Alvy. Sina, we home? We home, Sina? Okay, so it was work. Can I come out your side? Um, no, because you'll walk all over the seats. You can get out Eduardo's side though with Sina, okay? You can show Sina how to get out, all right? Um, it was classic tales dress up day today at school, so Emilia was Cinderella. Uh oh, she's just going up first. <laughs> come on, Sina. Jump? I don't know. You gonna jump, Sina? <laughs> Sina! Oh, she's so happy now. Oh, careful of the doors. Hello there, friends. We haven't even spoken today. Hello there, Amelia. Did you just... Oh, my goodness. Unclip yourself. Unclip yourself, princess. Can I take my coat off when I get inside? Yeah, you can. Ooh, this is our princess. so high. Does it? Come on, show me how a princess gets out of a car. Show me. Oh. That's how a princess gets out of the car. And then she lifts up her dress. And she walks. <laughs> Used to walk like a princess. Careful, don't run. The kids are going for their haircuts now. Haircut time. Look how clean that thing is. Nice. What? Is that how a princess walks? Okay. So, remember when you go in, you say, I want a haircut like my daddy. Yeah. What? That's what you have to say. You've said, I want my haircut like my daddy, okay? Yeah. No. That's the thing. That's the thing. I to dye my hair pink. Dye your hair pink? Well, you can always ask. I'm going to do one and Jay's going to do the other. So, whichever one is. They want matching haircuts. <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> Very good. Look, Edward is actually matching the car. Did you do that on purpose, Anna? What? He's matching the car, look. Oh yeah. <laughs> Aww. Did you plan that? <laughs> Driving. Whoa, Amelia, careful. Yeah. Can't steer the car. <laughs> <laughs> Little gentleman, Eduardo. Right, let's put this round. You look. I've got for you. Oh wow. Oh, princess one. So I'm just trying to keep it growing. Yeah. Eduardo, Amelia's waving at you. No, don't. Oh, don't move. <laughs> Oh, he's so good. Really. He's really looking forward to that biscuit. Oh, you That's really where you come for. You get a biscuit, don't you, at the end? So good. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Well, she's just always well behaved, isn't she? She's watching TV. And then they get the chocolate biscuit and the um, the sticker, and it just really helps. Like the whole experience is such a positive one. Like they've never had any issues with getting their hair cut, and I actually kind of thought they would. But by the time uh, the new little baby comes. Is at the hairdressers in the little car. Mm. Amelia will be sitting on the yeah on the chair. proper one. She'll yeah, moved on. We give the baby a haircut and both a bath. Mm -hmm. Then all the baby will sit on my lap. Oh yeah. Oh, she can sit on your lap. Or I can share space while on the chair. That's oh, right. Oh, you're such a good big sister, Amelia. And Ami and Eduardo is a good big brother, aren't you? Are you gonna be no. a good big brother? No. Are you gonna share your toys? No. I think she'll like my toys. Yeah. Yeah. She might like Eduardo's toys. No. What if she likes your toys the most, Eduardo, and then she have to share all of your Thomas toys? No. <laughs> if she likes mine the most, then I'll share all of my toys. <laughs> Are you guys going to share the baby? No. What? No. Right, well, whose bed is she going to sleep in? Eduardo's or Amelia's? <laughs> no. Mine. You want to? Mine. Okay, okay, guys. What we'll do is at the weekends she can sleep in Eduardo's bed, but during the week she can sleep in Amelia's yeah. bed. I'm sure that's safe. What do you think? No. No. Okay. Well, when? What bed should she sleep in, Eduardo? This is my bed. Tried to make that biscuit last so she long. Has. You finished you it. You finished it. It's okay. That reminds me of when you I was have a, snack when you get home. When I was a kid, right at Easter time or at Christmas time. Mm. Myself and my brother would get up in the morning and we would like eat all our Easter eggs or eat all our Christmas chocolate, right? And then my sisters would have their chocolate for like two months later. They'd yeah. still have their I Easter eggs. Some, yeah. Sometimes we'd even kind of open some of the Easter I eggs or selection boxes. Any I have them in my pocket. Yeah, there. It, it was the same with me though. Yeah. Like my younger sister used to always, like if we got sweets Save or something, them. she'd be like, I'm saving them. And I'd be like, Mine are all my already finished. Well, no, what I did, so annoying. I felt like to teach my sisters a lesson, myself and my brother would always steal their chocolate. It, I feel like it was the only right thing to do. It was my civic duty as punishment. Okay, Christmas chocolate is meant to be eaten on the day. <laughs> the end. While we were out, guys, the baby arrived. Ah, this is the new way. It's like a stork. Do you remember when storks used to bring babies? Oh, they never did, did they? <laughs> <laughs> that was just another lie of my generation. All right, let's open it up and let's see what we got. Wait, where's the... I don't think you know where the opening is. How... What kind of box is this? It must be a virtual, <laughs> virtual box. Oh, virtual where's box. the edge here? I think it might be vertical box, though, like you, that you put... Okay, yeah, I can, uh, I can see the head. So, I'm just going to need you to give, give it a push. <gasps> Oh my goodness, it's just what we ordered. So this is the new baby's bed. It's this new um, environmentally friendly. That's what it looks like. Eco bed. Oh my goodness, look at all the paper that comes out. I think this is the actual thing. <laughs> oh my goodness, so they didn't have this when, uh, when, our, when we had our babies last time. Sleepy head. Our kids never slept in one of these. Oh, that looks, oh, look at it, it's so cute. Oh, there's a book. Yeah, no, keep it safe. Keep it safe for her. This also is multi-purpose use. Let me show you. Hi, my name's Rod Stewart. Hi, hi y'all. Welcome to the Shikoni Jolie Flog. I hope you have a good time. All right, let's put this with all the rest of the baby stuff in the baby room. Oh, Billy's getting her clothes ready for the trip. We're going on a trip. Is he getting his ready? Yep. Oh, exciting! It might actually be the coldest day of the year again. <laughs> I don't know what happened, guys. It was lovely and warm last week, and then this week, for some reason, it's just gotten so cold again. Anyway, I'm here looking for stuff for the kiddos to make their life easier. Because the first stage of the journey, what's this pop sunshine shades? No, the first stage of the journey is gonna be about 500 miles. 
That's gonna be crazy. <laughs> We're going to leave. Like we were supposed to do it in two stops. I was gonna do it in two stops. I was gonna leave um, late in the evening and then stay overnight halfway. We're just gonna get up early and just go for it. Full like six, seven hour drive, whoosh, straight all the way. <laughs> I was just uh, I was in the neighborhood and I was like, oh, I should drop into Halfords actually and see if they have any stuff that we could use. Is this like a backpack? That's it. Oh my goodness. The kids can carry their own car seat around. Mum's net most trusted. Do you know what? That actually is. You know when you travel and you're jumping in uh, taxis all the time, you know, and the kids obviously never have car seats when they're in taxis in foreign countries. That's a way. That's a solution for that. We don't need truckies. We want trunkies. But we don't need trunkies. We want, but we don't need. But do we? Oh my goodness, will I? Oh my goodness, how much fun would it be if I came home with trunkies? Oh my goodness, look, I could get Amelia this one. I could get Amelia this one. And then I could get a dwarf of the blue one. <gasps> or a Hello Kitty one. Yeah, for the blue one, I think, for Eduardo. You know what they're like. With their pink and blues. Will I do it, guys? Will I do it? I feel like I feel like it's about to happen. I can tell when I'm being mischievous. Dental purchase. I did not come here for this. I had a meeting down the road there. Uh, I just left there a second ago and I was just walking back and I was like, oh, Halfords. And I just pop into Halfords and see what they got. Oh my goodness. I stuffed these in the car. It worked that well. I also met a, also met a viewer a minute ago at a bus shelter. So it was a double whammy. <laughs> I've always wanted these. Always. Dreams come true, lads. You know how excited Amelia is going to be when she sees the little pink trunky. Oh my goodness. You know what, I was just looking for the vlog. I was like, wait, where's the vlog? <laughs> You're right there. Take it. Oh, I won! I won! Cut my life into pieces. This is my last resort. Suffocation. No beating. Don't give up. If I carry on breathing, that's what I do when the kids aren't in the car, lads. Or Anna, for that matter, because she doesn't approve of the loud, banging, rockety roll music. Boom. I'm losing my mind, losing my heart. Now somebody gonna tell me that's why. Totally forgot the kids' new toys. Should I leave them in the car and surprise them later? I don't know, what should I do? And leave them in the car and surprise them later. Or maybe I'll keep them until tomorrow. I'm not really sure. I don't even know what I gotta do. I don't even know what I gotta do. I don't even know. I don't even know. Do you know? Do you know? Do you know? Tell me if you know. Because I don't even know. I don't even know. Straight away. Straight away, okay? Straight away. Okay? What did you tell me again now? So, mommy forgot her suitcase, did she? But which suitcase did you want to use? Use my my old baby one. Your old baby one. You don't want a boring. Look what, look what she packed. So you don't want a boring grown up one. No. Look what she packed for the holiday. I know. Pajamas. This is the. This is the. This is the. Um. This is the clothes. This is the clothes pile, and that's the swimming pile, and that's the knickers pile, and that's the pajama pile, and that's the, the vest pile, and that's the sock pile. Okay, come mine at the last, okay? Okay, you guys have to close your eyes and wait for daddy. There can be no peeking. Okay. That's peeking going on. Now wait. 
Is there peeking? Are you peeking? No. Are your eyes closed? No. Are you sure? Let me check. I want both. I want to see both those eyes closed. If you open those eyes, the surprise is going to disappear. What do you think? What? What did you guys get? Do you not know what they are? Yeah. These are trunkies. Look. Look at the picture. Look at the little girl in the picture. Ride on them. You ride on them. They're suitcases. But you ride on them. But you them. ride on them. Can you see what's inside? Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, oh. We're all right. We're okay. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> you ready for blast off? You ready for blast off? <laughs> <laughs> Do you love it? This again. I want it fast. Uh oh. We have to go to a meteor truck. I just need to get my bed. I need to get my bed.